Hey, this is John Young with The Weekend Handyman. Today we're looking at two little personal heaters. We've got the Vornado. This is the VH202. It is a 750 watt personal heater. It has a high and low setting and a fan setting. So it's basically going to give you the ability to a little more heat, a little less heat, or just to move some air if you needed to move some air, kind of by your feet under your desk. And the other one is from Comfort Zone, but this particular one is just a turn on and off. It's about a 200 watt heater. This is something that you will find everywhere for about 20 bucks. The Vornado can range anywhere from $40 up to about $60. There's two different models, but basically they're just a, like an older model and a newer model. So this is the VH202, but there's a couple of them in this the same line and almost identical, except just a slightly different model number. What I wanted to show you today is I'm pulling out the the kilowatt. Now the kilowatt basically what it does is it tells you how much wattage a device is using. So we're going to just kind of compare two different personal heaters here. Now the little comfort zone one, what I like about it is the simplicity of it. The thing I don't like about it is just the, uh oh, I just started the place on fire. And what's kind of concerning about a lot of these inexpensive ones is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plug it in and turn it on and it's going to get up to get up to and it, it will get warm start blowing blowing uh, warm pretty quickly right now it's about 267 watts is what it's doing 265 watts blowing warm but uh-huh it's still running i can take it i can move it. It, it, it there's no safety shut off switch and a lot of these little 19 dollar ones you can find them oh, black friday they're going to be ten dollars there's no safety switch. Now, if you have it in a situation where it's on your desk and kind of blowing towards you and you can, you're can you there and you're observing it the whole time, it might be okay. For down by your feet where it could get kicked over, maybe not so much. But right now, it's settled in at 200 watts. And let's just settle in at 200 watts. Yep, there we go. And it's blowing nice and warm. I can, let me give you an idea. Okay, so I'm about 16 inches away and I can feel a little heat. Right here, I can feel quite a bit of heat. Uh, 20 some inches away, maybe two foot. Yeah, I'm not really feeling any heat, but then again, it's warm in the, in the office. So, simple on off switch. Let's set that to the side. Next, we're gonna look at the Vornado. Vornado's gonna have a little bit more for safety features on this particular one. It has on the back a couple of different switches. It has a main on and off, it's the red one. And then it has the little rocker on the other side, which is a three-way switch that has low fan only in the middle and then the top is, is high. So we're going to go through, plug it in. We're in watts, okay, I'm gonna turn it on. It's now set just to fan. And then I gotta move back so I can. Okay, so I'm, I'm almost four feet away and I can still feel it. The fan is coming in at about 18 watts, roughly 18 to 19 watts. Let's call it 19, this is 18.8 watts. Now we're going to go to low heat. So the fan is still doing its thing, but now we just add a little bit of heat to it. The wattage has now jumped up to, oh, let's see, we're up to 360, 363. And I can feel a little bit of warmth out here. Is it feel? It's not much different. I can feel more warmth here, and I, I it feels maybe slightly warmer than it was on just the fan. But obviously, as we're getting out here, that what little bit of heat it's creating is being lost. But I can still feel air movement out here. I could probably go farther, but I'm off. I'm off video. Let's go to high. So now we're on high, and I'm actually going to push it back a little farther now. So now on high, we're jumping up to 706, 704 watts is what we're at right now. So we're over seven, just a little bit over 700 watts. And I can feel, I can feel warmth here, certainly warmer. Here it's actually, it, it probably would get to the point where it's almost, I mean, you could touch it, but you're gonna get to the point where it's really gonna get warm. It's not gonna get hot, burning hot, but it's definitely going, going to get warm. So let's move a hand out here. I can still feel air way over here, and I can feel that it is warmer air, warm air that's that's blowing. It's certainly not as warm as here, but usable warmth, two feet for Sherbley. And it's kind of a narrow band. It's it's only probably about 16 inches wide, somewhere in that ballpark, maybe, maybe 20 inches wide that you can feel the uh, warmth. So for somewhere, like if you were going to be blowing this on your feet under the desk, 
uh, two feet away is probably a really nice a really nice uh, distance. You can certainly get closer, um, warmer, cooler, but two feet seems to be a really kind of a nice distance. You can feel that uh, heat. 700, 700 watts. Now to compare this to a more of a, a common number, a 1500 watt fan or heater, 1500 watts going to be drawing 1500 watts of power from the the from the wall. Some of those heaters may draw this more twice the electricity, but aren't going to be producing a, a more noticeable heat than what we're getting out of this little tornado. It's a combination of the elements that are in here for how much they're going to turn the electricity into heat, and then what kind of a fan system they have to be able to distribute that heat and move that heat and move that air. The little tornadoes have been really happy. This is actually a, a second one. I have one of these under my desk here in the office, and I'm getting a second one to go under the desk at the house. So that way I have a little, hand, a little heater down by your feet. And those days when you know the feet are just a little chilly, the little tornado is gonna definitely be the option. The final thing I wanna show you, we're on heat. We're on heat, it's warming up. My watts is 705. And, uh-oh, it tipped. It's done, it's off. There's a little, you can kinda of see it right there at the top, there's a little trigger foot. And if that trigger foot's not making contact with the floor, it's not going to go. So as soon as it tips, it shuts off, no matter what, what direction we go. One thing I do like about that, I'm gonna show it to you one more time. Hang on a second, let me unplug this. One thing I really like about the foot that Vornado puts on these is, take a look at the size of that. That's about the size of, oh, maybe, maybe a 50 cent piece, just short of that. That will be able to be used on carpeting. Some have just a little tiny peg that's only maybe an eighth inch across, and it won't work on, on some Berber type carpeting. This will work on pretty much all carpeting and allow you to put it again under your desk. It will be triggered, so it'll be that safety switch, and you're absolutely good to go. I'm gonna put links for both of these heaters in the description below, so you can go check these out. Again, you're looking at a very inexpensive $20 or less heater, a little bit more expensive with the tornado, but you're getting really two different applications. One, I would not, I would only use if I could, have, could see it and be next to it, like up on top of the desk, or a second one where I'd be more comfortable letting it run under the desk and letting it run for a lot longer with the tornado. This is John Young with the Weekend Handyman. Thank you for watching. For more tips and how-to videos, go to weekendhandyman.com.